Uh, I'm going to invite Alan and Mary and then later Jeremy to step forward, so come on out. Well, Alan, thanks a lot for picking me up from the, are you coming? I'm coming. This is really a heavy bag. Just a minute. Well, yeah, I, I know, but come on. Um, it's, you know, it's wonderful to go on a mission trip. It's always nice to come home. Are you coming? I am. This is one of your one-week oh. trip. How much stuff is in here? Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Is it? Oh, it is kind of oh. heavy, isn't it? <sighs> well, it's a good thing everybody knows you're the princess. I would never help you. <laughs> I know. It's nice to be the princess. You know, last Sunday we talked about offering and how important it is for all of us to contribute through our offerings. And, you know, you are offering a portion of that goes to help support mission around the world. But stewardship isn't just about offering and money. It's also about giving of your time and your talents. And one way that especially touches my heart is through missions. Not only within this church and this community and within this country, but globally also. And you may ask, well, why missions and why globally? Why outside of our community? I want to share with you some verses from Romans 10, 11 through 15. As the scripture says, anyone who trusts in him will never be put to shame. For there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. You know, I remember when Mary and I were first going to go, I thought about going on a mission trip and thought that maybe God had called us and we just weren't really sure. We were, didn't, weren't know, didn't know where we were going. We didn't know if we had the skills. We thought, well, boy, maybe we better, you know, do a little bit more planning. And it's then that we realized that God gives his children the gifts of time, talents, and treasures. And then he steps back. And he waits to see what you're going to do with those gifts. And at that time, we realized that we'll need, we're going to go. And we just thought, we'll just step out. We'll let God take control, and we'll see what happens. And We've been on some amazing trips, and uh, I don't know if there's one of them that's went the way we planned, but yet God's showing up in just some amazing and wonderful ways on those trips. And, and you know, Alan, um, I know people are concerned about not having the right tools or the right skills. Well, you know, after all of the mission trips that I've been on, I finally figured out what to pack in my suitcase. So I'm here to share with you so you don't have to have any apprehension about stepping forth and going on a trip. I have everything here that you would absolutely need. Need for a trip. There's only one thing in here, and I don't remember packing it. But this is what's in this suitcase. Do you see what you need? What do you see here? I just see me. And when I look in here, I see you. That's all you need. You don't need any special skills. You don't need any special tools. You don't need any special talents. We need you. And you know what? When you get to wherever it is we're going or you're going, God's going to help you unpack those special talents and skills that you have. That's what you need to pack for your mission trip. And you know, it's, uh, this being Stewardship Month, it's pretty amazing because I think that uh, stewardship is very much like mission work. Uh, God gives you those gifts of time, talents, and treasures, and he's really more interested in stretching your faith, taking that step out and seeing what you'll do if God will really do what he says he'll do. He doesn't, uh, not particularly interested in your comfort, he's interested in your growth as a child of God. So he wants you to take that step out in giving, 
See what happens is the funds, the time, the talent, or your treasures are given to Bethel, the blessing it'll be to the people of Bethel, Hudson, Wisconsin, uh, the country, and all around the world. Just see the amazing things that he'll do both in your lives. So. You know, Alan, there is something else in this suitcase. I, thought, I don't remember packing it. I thought you said you had everything. I did, but look what I found. Well, what the heck is this? I don't know. Hmm. What do you think? I don't know. I wonder where God wants us to go next. Hmm. Well, I guess we best have to step out in faith and see where we're going. I guess we better. And you know what? Got my suitcase packed. How about you? Good morning. Uh, my name is Jeremy Palm. And on behalf of the church council, uh, I'd like to thank Mary and Alan for their time this morning and for sharing their passion for missions with us. Uh, how we use our time and talents to further God's kingdom is important. And uh, I thank you for sharing your time and talents with Bethel. In addition to our time and talents, it also takes money to do the things that we do as a church. In preparation for putting together our budget for 2013, commitment cards will be mailed to you next week. We as a council would appreciate you taking the time to pray about and fill out these commitment cards and return them to the church on Consecration Sunday, which is October 28th. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or any of the other church council members. Our photos are right outside the sanctuary here, and thank you. Thank you, Jeremy, and thank you, Alan and uh, Mary.